The okay. emotion has a basis. The emotion of attraction has a basis. It's not hmm. baseless. Hmm. But that's not love. We learn about life through questions. How do we shed our desires? Should a leader try to change such people? Insecurities start anytime, anywhere, any age. Their conduct has to be as per their profession. Does it mean that the family values are somewhere on the downfall? To answer some of these, Mr. Praveen Mankar, founder of Pratibim Charitable Trust, brings to you face to face. This week we are talking about the law of love. We hear so many things about love. Pyar kiya nahi jata ho jata hai, dil ka bhavar kare pukar. So many songs, innumerable of them. What is really love? So what do you think love is? Is it an expression of feeling? Is it uh, a verb like work to do or is it an emotion? What do you think it is? I, I think you are more qualified to talk about love. Your eyes were expressing all that love when you said, Pyar kiya nahi jata, ho jata hai, you know? So there are so many, so many songs which have uh, kind of changed the mindset of people <coughs> down the years. Yeah, love as commonly understood by people is an emotion. Hmm. But love is not an emotion. Love is a law. It is an unchangeable phenomena, irrespective of circumstances. Okay. Why do I say that? You look at the entire universe. Hmm. You look at the creativity in the universe. No creation can happen without love. All constructive activities happen because of love. And let me give you diverse examples. Yeah. Hmm. A businessman is in love with his requirement for commercial success, hmm. money. How he makes that money doesn't matter. He creates hmm. a trading unit or a manufacturing unit which enables him to satisfy his love for acquiring hmm. money. Hmm. So there is a creation. Whenever there is love, there is a creation. All creative activities in the universe happen because of the love of the creator. Mm. Now, I am slightly touching a controversial word, God. God. Because mm. some, believe some, some don't. believe, some don't believe. But when I say God, then God in the universe is pure energy. Mm. Human beings have decided to give different names to God and different colorations to God. That's not important. The reality is that the universe got created out of nothingness. Every creation happens because of the love of the creator. Again, whenever I use the word love, people will immediately jump on to the bandwagon of emotion. Not an emotion, it's a law. So, should I say love is energy then? Love is manifestation of energy. Okay. So, then how do we interpret love on the body plane, mental plane and the spiritual plane? When you say body plane, you are meaning substance. Physical body, substance. Yeah, substance. Yeah, substance is a creation. So, so it is a creation out of nothingness. Let's go back to basics. Hmm. The first element that was created was hydrogen. True. Yeah, known element. Yeah, and there known. might have been some unknown elements. I don't know. But then even hydrogen has a basic material called atoms. Atom. Then before the atoms, there was something else. Hmm. What was that? It was pure energy. Okay. When the energy vibrations altered their <coughs> okay. frequencies, they appeared in the form of some material. So, suppose there is a plate of apple and a plate of banana. Hmm. You look at this plate and you say there is an apple because it looks hmm. like an apple. It probably has an apple odor. Hmm. And this looks like a banana. Hmm. It has an apple taste. It has a banana taste. Hmm. Why? Because this substance is vibrating at a particular frequency. But suppose I, let me rephrase this question then. Then on the substance level, if you are looking, let us look at human beings per se. Mm. So, what is love on the physical plane, mm. the mental plane and the spiritual plane? So, I talked about substance, you have a physical body. Right. It's vibrating at a particular frequency. Okay. Your mind is operating at a particular frequency. Mm. It may not match with my frequency. I may mm. be thinking at a different frequency. So, our thoughts may not match. Or you might be matching with my frequency, our thoughts match. Okay. Okay. What is thought? Thought is also a process output. Output of the energy. It's a process output. Process of thinking, 
using my brain and I am producing a thought which I am expressing as words or I am expressing as okay. physical action. What is the input to this thought process? So, there is an input from the universe hmm. which my brain processes okay. and produces an output called thought. Hmm. Let me give you a very simple example of language, hmm. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, English language, yeah, up to A to Z, 26 letters of the alphabet, okay. available to you, available to me. Words coming out of my mouth are different, words coming out of your mouth my are different, mouth. processor is different. Right. My brain is different, your brain is different. I have the same word bank, A, B, C, D, you have the same word bank, okay. words are different because thoughts are different. Hmm. What is this substance that comes into my brain, hmm. which produces a thought which is not expressed in words? It is called mind substance. Now, you will wonder what is this mind substance? Mm. It's like air. Mm. Before science progressed, mm. human beings did not know existence of oxygen. Okay. But they were breathing. But there is a spiritual substance that you inhale and you exhale. You, you don't know that. Mm. Prana. It's called energy, prana energy, life force. Similarly, there is a substance that your brain uses to produce thoughts. Mm. Again, an unknown entity, just like prana energy is an unknown entity scientifically. Mm. Similarly, mind substance is an unknown entity scientifically. Okay. But unless there is an input of substance, there, there cannot be an output of substance. Thought mm. is a substance. Mm. So basically, uh, this explains the love at the physical level and the mental level. Yes. And the spiritual level. When you say spiritual, it is of the spirit. Hmm. Spirit is energy. Okay. So, all creation came out of energy. All substances were created out of energy. Hmm. And therefore, all creation came out of love. Let me just now, since uh, we started off talking about love as an emotion. Hmm. So, let us uh, talk on that part a little more. Hmm. Though it is, as you said, it is a misnomer. Love is a law. Hmm. It is not uh, an emotion or a feeling. Hmm. So. A lot of times we have this, we fall in love hmm. or you know, we like somebody hmm. and then uh, we don't get that kind of reciprocation. Hmm. So, is it a part of uh, a cause and effect thing or what is it? So, let us talk of the misconception of love as an emotion. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. Love is an emotion of attraction. Hmm. Okay. I get attracted to things and I say I love it. I love ice cream. Hmm. I get attracted to ice cream. I get attracted to the flavor of the ice cream. Hmm. I am taking an example. I like strawberry ice cream. So, I love strawberry ice cream. Chocolate? No, hmm. I don't love chocolate. Hmm. It's ice cream. Hmm. But I am in love with that flavor. Hmm. And therefore, it is an emotion that I have cultivated to subconscious. All emotions are in the subconscious. subconscious. So, on, on that level, uh, it's baseless. So, there is nothing like love which is I wouldn't say it is baseless. It has a basis, but it is not the truth. The okay. emotion has a basis. The emotion of attraction has a basis. It's not hmm. baseless. Hmm. But that's not love. Okay. And that's why people fall in and out of love. Hmm. <laughs> if you fall out of love, then how can it be a law? Hmm. If a law exists, then every time it will operate in the same manner. Apple falls down through the law of gravity everywhere, every time, under any circumstances. Why? Because it's a law. So, if love is a law, then it should operate constructively every time. The love which we understand as human beings is not that love. Mm -hmm. That is a law of convenience. Sure. I love you when we are 20, 30 years old and when you become 40 and you start getting wrinkles and grey hair, the love vanishes. Mm. What happened? So, basics are wrong of love, you are trying to Again, say. I am not an advocate of right and wrong. Okay, let us say we have uh, cultivated this concept of love in our minds. Yes. Which is not actually what it's love is. It's a misnomer. Is. Misnomer. Yeah. There Feeling. is law of attraction, there is law of deep attraction, there is law of intense attraction. Mm. There is okay attraction, there is neutral, no attraction mm. and then there is negative attraction, which is hate. Another thing which now since you say it is an, it is a law. So, love is a manifestation of energy as you said. Yes. So, now putting these two things together, let us say if we need to see love in everything, mm -hmm. how do we cultivate that? Because it is so tough, some people you just can't relate to and still you need to work on yourself, say? There lies the answer. Some people you can't relate to. Hmm. Who doesn't relate to some people? Hmm. Your awareness of those people. 
so how do we work on it it's a matter of training okay you need to train yourself so all these uh, unrequited love attraction all this is a misnomer according to me then they are it, good for literature think, and poetry yeah i think in society we got this word uh, misconstrued into a totally different category for no all literature reason. texts poetry that is written is a way of recreation for human beings and you look at generations that have spent time on this subject called love the emotion <laughs> you got movies on love you got dramas yeah. on love you got yeah. books on love you got songs on love you got music on love yeah, too many things on love everything is on love but, but that's the emotion that is exploited by the human being love is a law and we can work on it and learn to love everyone cut across all caste creed whatever it may be so love is a law if you have some questions about life please connect with us do not forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for weekly updates